Welcome to this Bible Reflection. Galatians chapter 5 verses 13 through 25. For you were called for freedom, brothers, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, rather serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, immortality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like, I warn you as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such thing there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. Let us not be conceited, provoking one another, envious of one another. How should we live in light of the freedom we've been given? The Apostle Paul offers a compelling answer in today's scripture reading. He says our liberty isn't intended for us alone, but is meant to be shared with the world. We do that by serving others in love, thereby fulfilling what Christ called the two greatest commandments. Acting out of love eliminates the inclination to judge those around us, or in Paul's words, to bite and devour one another. A harsh critical attitude doesn't represent our freedom well. There's nothing compelling about us if we act just like people who have never experienced the all-surpassing love of Christ. Instead, we must walk by spirit and exhibit the fruit produced in us when we follow him faithfully. Our love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are like a beacon in the dark and others will feel drawn to its light. Thank you for listening. God bless you and I love you.